Mike's side? I don't know, I just, I'm messing this up. I we never come up here. Said, We're so used to centering ourselves, and now there's a Drew throwing us off. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I, I still, I still feel pretty Drew. centered, by yeah. the way. Yeah. We're yeah, they let me out of the office for a second, and I'm already screwing things up. I'll go back soon. Where, do you know where your water bottle is right now? <laughs> Shit. Are you kidding me? I think I made it through the whole day until just now. Maybe it's back. I'll check backstage. <laughs> oh, I carried it backstage? It takes a cruise. You might just sit here for a while. Boy, we're really rocking and reeling now, aren't we, Bob? We're feeling it, right? Day three, emotionally and physically. <laughs> is it just me or does every experience that happens on the cruise like five times more emotionally intense than the ones that happen on land? Yeah, yeah. It's, very true. it's like being in an airplane. Yeah. Crying the whole time. I've cried, I've cried like six times. Yeah, yeah. I'm a mess on roller coasters. But I have my closest relationships and make my best friends on roller coasters. Yeah, sure. <laughs> But enough of that bit, let's segue to this. Uh, it is time for morning announcements. Good morning. Can't keep track of you. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, they are twins. Uh, by the way, uh, today's cosplay day. Let's, can we get the house lights? Uh, 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 okay. Anybody cosplaying, stand up and be appropriately appreciated. Uh, awesome. I can't believe you all made luggage space for that. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. We found him. We found him. Uh, I bet he didn't hear that at all today. <laughs> I hope that you've noticed the ship's crew wearing costumes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They started last night with Uhura and Leia and Doctor Who. They're not going to stop either. No. They're just going to keep going for the rest of the. Yeah. Rest yeah of next the next week, the the new cruisers, um, the regular crews, are going to be all confused when yeah. their Star Trek captains wandering around. I didn't sign up for this excursion. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, so thank you, cosplayers. Uh, also, let's hear it for our Fancy Pants Paraders. Okay, uh, a few notes. Uh, just a reminder for those of you... This is a surprise. This is yeah. totally oh unexpected. God. This is either the most horrifying or best thing in the world, and I'm going with best. Yeah. 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 Let, me tell you, let me tell you what happened here. Uh, Jamie Bressler, who works for Lady Killer, <laughs> Lady Killer but also for uh, the Henson Company as a puppet builder. As a, as a nice surprise. Where did you get my glasses? <laughs> we make these puppets at Paul and Store. That's a Google image this search. Say, did you know about this? Yeah, I knew about it. Wow! Yes. And it cost a lot of money. <laughs> we did this to you. Both of us, we did this to you. Oh. Yeah, this is a, this is a gift for me, me, and Drew, and Danielle. Do me a favor, Danielle, come on out here. Do me a favor, go hug Danielle, please, Paul and Store. That's what I was going to say. Paul and Store, hug Danielle. There, man, I haven't seen them prior to this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, the, well, the funny thing is, I literally almost wore a shirt that looks almost exactly like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And I, I thought about not dressing up like uh, Highland Witchy Poo tonight, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I love that you even got the little sort of salt and pepper action going on. Yeah. Uh, and the, little color, the, the front part's going forward just like start. This is a little too much hair in the back, but that's okay. That's <laughs> really. This is. Oh, I cannot tell you. <laughs> I'm, I'm so on a fulcrum between incredibly honored and super unsettled right now. <laughs> the only way this could get. Any closer to a specific nightmare I have had 
is if you started talking in Strong Bad's voice as me, Just go back to sleep, Paul. No one thinks it's happening. And then the room started to spin and Paul disappeared into himself. I am I am living in a Neil Gaiman story right now. And not one of the fun, sexy ones. The thing about Paul Saborn is he was a puppet. But not the puppet he thought he was. This is fabulous. Thank all of you. Oh, thank you. Get up again. Hey, come on out again, Danielle. Danielle Davis and Olivia Cantine. She's so good. That's incredibly sweet. Thank you all. Now you can please get off the stage before I have an actual panic attack. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Robinette. <laughs> I need to genuinely sit down now. Uh, I would, but I'd be revealing too much. <laughs> He's day two tonight! So as I was saying... <laughs> you scamsters. Get that smug grin off your face. Son. I've been waiting for this day for so long. <laughs> Yours is coming, young man. Um, okay, as a reminder, console gaming is happening up uh, on deck 10, straight above us, in the EXC Center. It is awesome. I was watching, I was up, um, like, one in the morning or so, just wandering the ship because I never ever sleep. And there was a couple of crew members in a corner, at, at, like a, a Sega Genesis, just having a ball. Uh, but it's, it's available essentially 24-7. Uh, they do have a vast library of games. Uh, when the library's man, they're happy to help you uh, check in and check out games. It's pretty awesome out there. As is the uh, arcade out in the Billboard Onboard, which I have walked by and never seen uh, before midnight, not completely full. So thank you, fellow children of the 70s and 80s. And to anyone who's playing Area 51, you're welcome. That's my one demand. We had to break the backs of 10 people to get on the ship. <laughs> um, uh, again, a reminder of the specialty dining options available to you, not only... Uh, well, first of all, how many of you did the uh, Thai lunch today? I uh, we understand over 200 of you uh, took part. Uh, it was pretty awesome, right? It's like, not like cruise ship food. It was real, actual, awesome, flavorful food. We weren't kidding about that. Uh, there is the Korean specialty lunch happening as well, uh, as well as the specialty dining options of Canaletto, the Chef's Italian Restaurant, and the Pinnacle Grill. You can sign up uh, to make reservations for those at any of the restaurants or dial 88 from any ship's phone. Canaletto in particular, if you have a group of people that have been hanging out, it's amazing. It is the, the family style thing and you will, you will be... Uh, full. full. Yeah, there's, I'm looking for a word that is full and satisfied. There isn't one word that does it. Satisfied. Satisfied. You're going to be satisfied. <laughs> Or Satan. There's, there's also a fun part where the waiter comes up and explains the idea of Italian food to you, which I think is... That, that starts off the fun. Um, we have scheduled a second bar crawl. That will be happening Thursday at 10.30 p.m. Uh, I believe we'll be starting at the Lido Pool Bar. You can go to any of the ship's bars to sign up for that. It has also been added to the online schedule. Um, sea Monkey Open Mic night, which happens tomorrow night, I believe. The sign-ups are available on the uh, Joko Cruise info desk on deck one. Make sure you get to, to that before uh, tomorrow afternoon if you want to take part in that. Speaking of tomorrow, tomorrow we stop in Tortola. We are there until 6 p.m., I believe, and you must be back on the ship by 5.30 p.m. Uh, let's see. I am now throwing to my friend Storm to speak about the Kraken. Yes! Uh, who has already purchased an, an item with our, our new Kraken target? Make some noise. Alright, if you're not aware, we have commissioned off-kilter kilts to devise a special target. This one, 
that is going to be, or already is, registered with the Scottish Register of Targets. <laughs> this is apparently something that Scotland really wants to happen, and uh, so we want it to happen too. So there's a minimum number of, uh, I guess, bolts of fabric that need to be purchased until they can make the run. So please go to Off Kilter Kilts, there's a whole Joko section because they will make kilts and they will make ties, pretty much anything you want. They will even sell full bo bolts of cloth too if you want to make your own thing. They will. In fact, I think someone, someone has already purchased like 10 bolts of cloth and I am just bracing myself to see what's going to happen with that. <laughs> Joko, Cruz, Joko Cruz Christo is going to be papering the casino. I mean, it's a kilt for an actual kraken. <laughs> so you can do what you like. It's going to be your bolt. Do your bolt your way. Uh, before today, I had never worn a kilt. <laughs> but I gotta say, it's not likely but possible I will never wear any other type of article of clothing again. That's how comfortable and awesome it is. So please check out Off Kilter Kilts for the Kraken Tartan This. <laughs> um, the game library has asked me, well, not the library itself, but the people running it. It's, uh, they, inanimate objects don't speak to me until day six. Um, I think one spoke to you just a yeah, just, uh, just a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> Point well taken. Uh, they, the, the folks from the library have asked us to say, while it is appreciated at this point, we have run out of capacity, we do not need any more donations to the game library. I love it. What boat in the world can say, Sorry, too many board games. <laughs> the answer is none. Um, uh, oh, would you like to do the following shout out? Oh yeah, uh, so uh, my sister-in-law uh, is the person who is responsible for a lot of the uh, signage that you see and maps. <laughs> The new book that you got and the, the schedule, the reprinted schedule. Uh, her name is Liz and it's her birthday, so everybody say happy birthday. Liz. Just about every show, uh, a reminder that uh, merchandise of the artists who have brought merch uh, featured in the main stage performances will be available at the back of the theater immediately following the show. Uh, for tonight's show, being a stand-up show, a reminder, please no video or audio recording of tonight's show. Thank you for your cooperation with that. Now, I am ready to go to, almost ready to throw to our good friend Drew, because it is time to announce that onboard booking begins today for Joko Cruise 2020. <coughs> How many of you are already booked for Joko Cruise 2020? That is awesome, and we love you that much more than the people that didn't raise their hands. <laughs> but you have a chance to redeem yourselves, non-hand raisers. You can still earn our love. <laughs> you filthy lucre. Um, Joko Cruise 2020 is happening March 7th through 14th. Uh, it leaves from Fort Lauderdale again. It stops at Half Moon Key, Santo Domingo, and Grand Turk. Our land concert next year, that year will be in Santo Domingo. We'll be sailing on the New Amsterdam. Once again with Holland America. And Drew is here to talk to you about the actual uh, ops and logistics of onboard booking. Yes, I am. Well, we are very excited to be on the New Amsterdam. It's, a, it's an upgrade from this Vista-class ship to one of Holland America Line's beautiful Signature class ships, uh, which features a number of things, including um, an amazing uh, actual pizza oven restaurant. Where, yeah, it's good pizza. It's good pizza. Good pizza. Is, this is disorienting for many of you. The veterans, you can still find bad pizza if you're looking for that. You know you are. Especially requesting it. 
They'll get microwave set up immediately next to the brick oven. They'll take it out of the brick oven and put it directly in the microwave for six minutes onto your plate. And I think it's one of those like metal pizza ovens, the standard like yeah. pizza shop. Yeah, yeah. It's not a brick oven. Oh, we can't, we can't promise them a brick oven. We're going to We're gonna put a brick in this oven. <laughs> we will build a Lego brick oven. <laughs> Nathan, get working. We're really excited about the ship, and there's a bunch of cool stuff in it. This evening at Turndown, you're going to find um, uh, little deck maps for the new Amsterdam. If you'd like to check out the ships, you'll, you may see that there's some additional venues, including a, a special um, like Asian fusion restaurant called Tamarind, where the food is quite delicious. Um, the way that onboard booking works this year is that there's a form, which I cannot look at while I hold this mic. Um, it's a, oh, technology. <laughs> You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, I'm not going to look at the form. I made the form. I think I remember. Okay, all right, I'll look at the form. You lose your water, you lose your water bottle every five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Feel free to read off a piece of paper. Okay. It keeps making forms. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no more to that joke. Anyhow, uh, there's a form. It looks like this. I should, yeah. Hopefully I'm less sure. dog-eared and folded. Yes, and hopefully it's larger um, from your perspective when you have it. Um, so anyhow, this, this form, it's similar to the form that we had last year, although we've, we've tried to simplify it as much as we can. You're going to fill out your basic information, you're going to fill out the number of guests in the stateroom, and then there's a little table at the bottom of the form where you can select the stateroom that fits your guests. It is called the stateroom occupancy reference. That's how you can see whether the stateroom fits the number of guests who are going to be in your stateroom. It's the SOR. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's SOR. It's got a it's got a figure number and everything. So if you can, it doesn't. But if you can, uh, if you can just make sure that you put yourself in a stateroom that you can fit into, um, that'll make it a lot easier to. Actually By that we mean accommodates number of people. It's not specially yeah. carved <laughs> to your shape. It has a lot of cool features. Uh, among, among which are actually just your stateroom is just you get baked into a block of carbonite. So you gotta make sure there's enough. Um, so, uh, yeah, so make sure that, you, that the number of guests in your cabin can fit there, uh, in your stateroom can fit there. And then there's a place where you can indicate your preferred choice of stateroom. So we will obviously try to give everybody their first choice. But let's say we get a bunch of forms and process them later, possible that we'll need to go down to the second choice if those stateroom categories sell out. Um, we have a special block of cabins that have been reserved just for onboard booking. That means they're not available for purchase online. This block of inventory that's available for you on board um, is, is totally separate from what's available online and has some simplified occupancy options so that it made it easier. And we should know there's a, it's, it's a limited uh, number of uh, cabin categories. It's not every possible category available. It is only certain categories. Yes, there's so there. For example, this year, because we are already over 50% sold, um, we are now down to just verandas, um, ocean views, and obstructed view staterooms. Um, so you'll be able to see all of the exact stateroom options here. And then on the reverse, you can see the full fine print of how the process works and a pricing table that shows you the two types of prices at which you can buy these cabins on board. There's the standard onboard rate, which for all of you includes our returning monkey discount and um, our early booking discount. The early booking discount is $100 per person and the returning monkey discount is $75 per person. And that's factored into this onboard rate column. And then there's a pay in full column. If you choose to pay in full for your stateroom, you get 4% off total price for that stateroom. Um, and then finally, before I stop boring you, the way that this works, you submit the form, we reserve the cabin for you, we create the booking, you're in that cabin, um, but you don't pay on board. We actually then, by Tuesday after the sailing, March 19th, we create the booking online, you get an invitation to go into that user account, and there'll be a request for the payment amount that was stated in this form. At that time, you can submit your placement requests, um, you can add yourself to, uh, you can add anything else to your booking, you can email about other questions that you might have. Um, and so you don't, you don't have to submit a credit card number on this form or anything? Correct. Correct, which, you, which should give you a uh, peace of mind about putting it into uh, a box. You can submit it during info desk hours or you can place it into the onboard booking form box at the info desk. Um, and then once your thing is created online, once your booking is created online, you'll have until March 26th to uh, submit the payment and that will finalize the booking and confirm it. And that is how onboard booking works on Joe Cruise 2019.
you can fill out the form and drop it off at the Jojo Cruz info desk. We'll also have a table available during the two uh, Lido deck sales on Thursday and Friday in the afternoon, uh, where all of the various performers merch will be available. We'll also have booking in person available for that. And most importantly, after this show, by the merch table, there will be uh, some representatives from the info desk with some more information about onboard booking. You can submit your forms there as well. And pick up some forms. There will also be forms in your state. There's going to be so many forms, you're going to be buried in forms. Yeah. Forms. That's why you're here on vacation, to be buried in paperwork. <laughs> That's why I'm here on vacation. Yeah. That, that checks out. One final reminder, uh, as Drew mentioned, uh, the merchandise will be available up there on deck two, just outside the theater after the show. Otherwise, if you are making your way uh, from here to the dining room, to the extent feasible for you, if you can go in the, that direction on the ship on decks three and one, so that everybody coming from the dining room can come on deck two, and you're not uh, colliding in the center like like those uh, uh, those that the simulation thing you can see online of the two armies that just run into each other and form a pile. Sure, just yeah, me. Like that's me. Okay, yeah. like that thing that you're just that call the internet. Don't run into each other and form a pile. I guess. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> so, with all of that said, that concludes morning announcements. Here is your host, Jonathan Coulter. Uh, uh, that's the perfect setup for comedy. We really dried out the room almost completely. 